Hey guys, Sean, Kayak Angler. All right, my last two videos were about uh, gear I used uh, for fresh and salt water, a couple of my rod and reel setups. I figured now I'd get into the lures and what I use. So I figured I'd start with some fresh water go-to baits that I use, do some that I do in the summer and some that I do in the fall. So hang on and we'll get to it. Alright guys, I'm indoors today, so no cigar, but the beer I'm drinking is Shop Top Twisted Pretzel Wheat. Not bad. It smells more like a pretzel than it tastes like a pretzel. But let's get to the main part of the video. Lures I use in the summer and winter. These are just some of them. Number one lure I use in the cold weather are jigs. I find that jigs are one of the best cold weather lures. Here's one I use, this is black and blue with sort of a greenish soft plastic trailer. However, when it gets really cold, I'll scale down the trailer and I'll go with something small. Here's another one I use. This is uh, sort of like an olive, a tan with a small crayfish trailer. These work really, really well. Um, key is fish them slow. I throw them into rocks. Flooded timber, fallen timber, um, you know, holes in weeds, and then fish them really slow. Also, jerk baits. This one is a river to sea jerk bait. Same thing with the with the jigs. Fish these really, really slow. You want to pause it. You want to retrieve, retrieve, pause, retrieve, retrieve, pause, and you want that pause, you know, five, ten, even fifteen seconds. I heard some guys pause it for 30 seconds. I usually do it between 10 and 15 seconds and I find you have more hits on it when it's suspended and sitting there than when it's moving. Of course, when the weather gets warm, spring, summer, you can't beat soft plastics. And this is one of my favorites. It's the seven inch power worm motor oil color. I fish these 99% of the time uh, I fish other soft plastics as well. Here's a sort of a cream color with black uh, flakes in it. Uh, here's a salamander. I do okay with the salamander. It depends on what body of water I'm fishing. Here's uh, Mr. Twister. It's got a funky kind of tail on it. I do really well on this. I do more, I do better with this in shallow water. I'm talking like a foot deep than anything else. I don't know what it is. A foot deep, I do better. When I fish this in like six, seven feet of water, I don't get as nearly as many fish. Um, I do have, yeah, here's the motor oil power worm. Weightless. Um, I've, I have a video that I did in the past. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Uh, Texas rig we, uh, weightless. I do this is probably my top producing lure out of any lure I fish. Hard baits, soft baits, soft plastics. This is, I think, my, my best uh, lure. I caught more fish with this than anything else. Uh, I do use the gulp, although don't do fairly well on this. I think I caught one fish on the gulp, so I don't, I don't really use this. I get a lot of hits, just never can hook up with them. Uh, here's another jig, black and red. Uh, use this. You can use these in the warm weather too. I tend to use these only in the colder weather, fall, winter, even the you know middle of winter, end of winter, January, February, and March. I do uh, pretty good on these. Um, I also fish little grubs on a jig head. I'll even fish these under a float. Uh, although I do catch bass with them, I more than not catch panfish, crappies, sunnies, perch fish this under a float and uh, depending on the depth I usually go half if it's six feet of water I'll fish it at three feet if it's ten feet of water I'll fish it five feet I'll start there then I'll adjust I'll cast a couple you know deeper cast a couple shallower and then try to find out where the fish are and usually especially the crappies since they swim in schools I usually find that if I find out where they are where they are then you know I catch one, two, three, four, or more. 
throw some inline spinners. Pretty much what I throw. The tail. Um, there are a couple more. If I can get them untangled. Uh, Mr. Uh, here's uh, this is about the size I'll throw in a cold weather. In the summer, I'll throw a seven inch. This one here, this is probably about a five inch. I'll throw these in the colder weather. I find the colder the weather, the smaller the uh, soft plastic. And then I throw these two. This is a uh, Propala jointed body. I throw these. I throw these in the summertime, nice steady retrieve. Again, in the wintertime, you want to use that retrieve, retrieve, pause, retrieve, retrieve, pause. In the summertime, you can mix it up. You know, retrieve it steady, do the pause, retrieve, twitch it. These work uh, fairly well. And these come in floating, diving, suspending. So that's uh, pretty much what I go, what I use. Um, but like I said, this is my number one bait right here. This is my number one bait overall out of everything. But as far as winter, cold weather fishing, this is my number one, the jig. So hopefully uh, you guys this helped you out a little bit. If you use anything else in the cold weather, let me know, you know. Put in the comments what you use, how you fish it. And I uh, hope this helped you out. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video. And as always, until next time, cheers, tight lines, and see you on the water.